Good afternoon, Seven Fish. Today I'm doing a quick video, and I'm out here catfishing at a local lake. What we're trying to do here is give you tips to make you dangerous. There's currently a tornado watch, but, you know, it's prefrontal. The fishing should be good. What I did, all I did today was bring a box of night crawlers and uh, one catfish rod and one ultralight, but it's so mossy around here, I don't even think I'll be able to throw my ultralight. Anyways, today's tip is all about how to catch catfish. And oftentimes people think that means going the heaviest possible route. Heavy rod, heavy line, heavy weights. Well, oftentimes, that doesn't quite work because just as it goes with other species, lighter the better. If it looks more natural, it's probably gonna produce better results. So when I catfish, I use as light as line as I can. Generally 10 or 12 pound mono works, but I do have a rod with um, braid if I am fishing in a river or whatnot. As far as weights go, you only need a weight if the bait that you're throwing needs to get down. So if I'm using cut bait, generally I don't use a weight. If it's really windy and I need it to really sink, I'll start with a little itty bitty eighth ounce weight. That's it. All I bring with me when I'm catfishing is this one little box. And I always go with circle hooks also. You can see here, just an itty bitty four out circle hook and generally no weight but if i need a little bit of weight to help keep my bait down i will run an eighth ounce or you can add another one but my weight system is always on a sliding rig so what that means is i'm gonna have a leader about 24 to 36 inches above that leader i'm going to have that slider weight if necessary then i run a ball bearing swivel attach my leader to the other end and put my hook on it. That way, when a fish goes to pick up my bait, he can run with it. That weight will stay on the ground and he will be able to pull that whatever it is that I'm using without knowing that he's actually hooked. Meanwhile, my drag is set very, very low, if not my bail open. Generally, I just twist my drag all the way down because with these circle hooks, you don't set the hook yourself. Generally, when they run off and eat it, you want to give them time to take this and run, and then they'll just automatically be hooked. So you don't need to set the hook. You'll lose the fish. All you need to do is let that bobber go under or let your bait kind of take off, tear some drag out. And after it tears some drag out for maybe five, six, seven seconds, and your line is still screaming or your bobber is still down, just start reeling firmly. No need to set the hook with this style of hook. So that's my quick tip of the week. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully a tornado doesn't come. Hopefully I catch something. Like I said, it's pretty mossy out. All of a sudden it got really sunny again, really regretting not bringing my sunglasses. Anyways, that's all I've got for you. Uh, hopefully we'll have some more catfish tips for you coming up because I know we don't really have any catfish videos. It's hard, hard to film catfish at night. That's generally when we do a lot of our catfishing and yeah. So maybe that'll change this summer. Thanks for watching, guys.